hey guys welcome back to my channel in today's video i am sharing with y'all some easter diys and spring diys i think these turned out super adorable i do have one more video coming out i believe but since we are all stuck at home with this coronavirus going on i don't know if we'll be able to get out and i don't know if my dollar trees will stock just because they have told me that they're not getting in as much mer merchandise so we will see but in this first one i have seen these easter wreaths um around everywhere target um tj maxx everywhere at home and every time i grab one it's always like 30 dollars or more so i decided to make one of my own with these easter eggs i had these it's a pack of six i got them at the dollar tree last year i have not seen them this year at all like i said my dollar trees have not stocked up on their easter items yet or they do have but just not very much but I had these from last year, so I decided to create my own, and I love it. I love the way it turned out. It looks super cute, um, and I'm so happy that I did it just because I love the, the pastel colors. Um, I've seen a lot of Easter eggs out there. They're that really bright color, but these, oh my gosh, I love them, and this turned out so adorable. So I used three packs, one wreath, and then some of that green mossy-looking grass, and this literally cost me a total of $5. But like I said, I had these from last year, so... I didn't have to buy anything but if you did run out and get it like I said five dollars for this whole entire thing and it turned out super awesome the following day I felt like the wreath needed a little bit more so I had this um, Spanish moss that I got years ago at the Dollar Tree and I just kind of stuck them in between the eggs and it just gave it a better look You guys look how cute the eggs look I just love this. this this is like my favorite one so this next one I've had these letters in my stash for over a year I'd have the wreath so I didn't have to go out and buy anything for this project as well I went ahead and just painted it you can paint them any color you want for the O I decided to use a wreath so I can go ahead and change it any um, for the season or for the holiday and this was super simple like I said and even if you had to go out and buy these these letters they sell them at um, Walmart for about a dollar and some change maybe a dollar and fifty cents I believe um, super inexpensive but this one's also one of my favorites Alright you guys and there it is super cute super adorable now this next project I already had all this on hand from last year none of this was purchased this year all I did was paint that little tin can I printed out a sticker that I got off of Pinterest which I will link down below and I think it said something with eggs I believe and I went ahead and just stuffed it with some Spanish moss that I had from over two years ago and that is it and I just put some eggs in there I actually added more eggs which I don't show it to you at the end of this video but I, I pulled those carrots out and I just added more eggs to this and I just think it looks adorable now this next one 
it's more of a spring DIY but I love it I got these four little bushes at the Dollar Tree um, not a Dollar Tree at Walmart actually I got them a few months ago I don't know what they're called but all I did was just I snipped every single branch off of it and I just stuck it right onto the wreath I didn't use any hot glue because they kind of this is a willow wreath from the Dollar Tree so I just kind of stuck them in the grooves and that is it and I just love the way this looks this is actually going up in our bedroom on each side of the bed I just think it looks so so adorable All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you are new here, do not forget to hit that subscribe button down below. I would love to have you join my family and join me on my YouTube journey. And I will see you guys in my next video. Hopefully, I'll have another one out. I hope to have another one out. So I will see you guys in my next one.